what we're fishing with. Well, it's been a long time since I've been on the water. You haven't even been out once this season. No. Here we are, the 11th. The fish of the summer is autumn. <laughs> the 11th of March. Yeah. And here we are um, on the Rangitaiki River. And the river is still dirty and it's still high, but it's fishable, I think. I think we should find some fish. I spotted a couple off the bridge up here. And so Dan decided to go with the rubber legged stimulator. So we'll see if Dan can remember how to fish and if he can um oh, look at that nice one see his first move <laughs> start dan the dork I dropped, the, dropped the fly last time i did this i broke a fishing rod so i gotta be careful okay don't let that happen again dan dick right. oh boy she's full of water mate Shit, this is a lot of water. So I'm going basically, if you look up river, I don't know if you remember this place. You see where all that foam is? Yeah. Well, underneath there are some fish swimming around. But most of them I saw were right up tight to a tree that's out in the river. So you can fish anything you like short as I get us in position. Just fish the foam. Gonna be a hard day. Mm -hmm. uh, once I get us into the back, Eddie, we'll be all right. You just deal with me until I find a way in. Push the bow out a little bit. Yep, right in the foam, short. not about how strong your arm is, it's about how you cast. Crikey, man, this is... This is going to be hard graft. This is hard graft. So i got to fucking take a break here and figure out how to do this. All right, so look at this piece of water with me. You see this foam line coming down, right? Yeah. I didn't say cast, I didn't say do anything. You see that piece of water? Well, the first fish I saw is somewhere out in the middle here but the others are close up to that tree. So I'm gonna get us where this back eddy's going and try to sit us on these next set of bushes so you can fish. So just wait until I get you there. You can do little flicks in there, but don't catch trees behind you in particular. All right, we're gonna settle in here and see how it feels. Well, that's what you get for now. Short, right up in the middle. Just there. Starting there. Remember, you're casting a fly line. You're not using strength. Yeah. But um, I'll need you to put one up. Just put one right up. That's not right up. So you need more fly line out. And you need, that's right, you need your 10 to 2. That's better. But these fish are there and further to your right. Right along that break. Further to the right. Do you see that tree sticking out in the river? Yeah. All along that edge. Okay. All along there, but they're they're from far out to close in. But you gotta put the fly out there. That's good, but those fish that are sitting tight are literally sitting. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. No, no, you can. You can try, but you're gonna need to. Not mucking around today. That's a good one. 
but that prob oh here he comes nice one. Oh, oh daniel guess what you did too quickly oh no Fuck you got me. so excited Fuck dan got so excited so the river lake stimulator got a look pardon Huh? Put it anywhere, man. But I'm where I saw the fish. Three of the four of them were up right by the break, so you're not far enough in. Well, little wiggle. That's the one. But... Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I work out. Little wiggle. Here we go. Here we go. Dan's back in action. Can I just call that a penalty and catch the fish for you? How come you roll your line, man? Why you're not? Well, you can't really cast, can you? No. Just a little wiggle and it's off. Oh my god. There we go. It's a good cast if there's a fish no. there. Leave it. Don't fucking pull it off shit like that. Just let it there drag you. off it, man. Oh yeah, yeah, you had it perfect. Just around that little twig, it would have dangled in the, on the surface of the water and dappled along and trout would have said, oh yeah. Little wiggle. There you go. That was a quick hookup though, Daniel. Well, and know. guess what happened? Like, I'm gonna lose it. Some you know why you lost them? You I'm lost them because you hooked too quick. Yeah. He took it slow too. He didn't smash it or anything. And we won't see him again or the first one. Brownie. There you go. You got yourself a brownie. I wonder what that was on. That was on the beadhead yellow and black woolly bugger. He's very active, isn't he? Yeah. It's brownies. That's a small one. Don't complain. It's the biggest of the season. <laughs> your first of the season, your biggest of the season. And we're on. <sighs> He's a tired old fella, isn't he? There you go. Small one. That's a good fish. What's wrong with him? All right. The bead head yellow and black bugger was successful on a brown. And now we've got a black woolly bugger with a fluorescent, um, this is a chartreuse bead on there. Now Dan's got a penalty. I wasn't going to take it, but I saw a bugger it. Caught a second tree in a row. Let's go forward, man. Take us down along that shore. This line feels quite heavy.
Lovely day, shame about the bloody water. You can just cruise us down, we'll go down to the, where the weed beds are in the lake there and see what that looks like. There is one more little waterfall. There's a few uh, up here. Bugs on the water. Come on, show me a rising rainbow out here somewhere. This cruise, man, just go. Uh, you're not working too hard, I see. This is cruise speed, coach. We're going a bit faster, Oh, we do have this little creek mouth up here, so we'll have a yeah. careful look at it. I do believe we had some action there last year. Yeah, I caught a tree. Ooh, fish, I got him. Yeah. See, that's how you go without false casting. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yeah, missed him. There you go. Sight fishing 101 with a woolly bugger, bro. Oh man, I love it. I do too. That's where you go. That's what I say. Don't false cast when you see a fish. Just cast. Put it right on him. Because you got your false cast, you wind up. You, full cut, you know how to do it? Just to cast and it's there. And I'm like, I, I cast and it's like eight foot to the left. <laughs> so, I, so I put it back and try again. This is a tired looking rainbow, man. Well, uh, the extendable, uh, net. I don't think we need the net for this guy. He doesn't look very good condition either. He's skinny as. Yep, yeah, that's what you get when you get months of um, dirty water, eh? Just a tired old rainbow. But. It's a fish. The beadhead black black woolly bugger with the chartreuse bead mm. has um, now caught us a fish. Oops. How about we show the audience at home? There you go. www.feathergirl.co.nz. I haven't really done a lot today. But I really kind of like this spot in this area. And we got on the beadhead crystal olive woolly bugger because we couldn't resist. We want Old Faithful on there. There's a fish right there. Here he comes. And I'm on. <laughs> there we go. Just stop us in the weeds. It's fine. Don't don't go through. Don't go through. We want to fish. It's your turn next. You want to be able to fish this. This is good country. Well, there you go. The old beadhead crystal olive woolly bugger. Not a surprise. certainly got it all right I didn't give him very long there you go beat a crystal lovely bugger and a brown trout and we will see you later buddy all right we got pretty good visibility in here in this little gutter and the lake being really high there's plenty of water in here so I caught one and we saw another one that wouldn't take Dan's bugger we thought it was a good chance to put on our wasp dry fly again see if we can't get our first trial on a wasp it's like I'm yes you struck going. early oh man I didn't have the camera on he came what? up so it, I can't have it on all the time man I told oh, well. I know but you, the last 20 on times on you did that you didn't catch anything yeah, well, don't expect defeat expect me to catch <laughs> <laughs> well look we got one on the wasp after missing I don't know how many. Three. It's definitely a strike early. It's a good brown, it's skinny, but they're all skinny this year. It's just the way it is. Skinny brown. See if that wasn't skinny, that would be a really good fish, eh? Looks good. So there is our wasp in the mouth of a jack. Can I have your I have mine too, but extractors. Yeah. There we go. And here, you want him? Uh, what do you reckon? 
I reckon he's skinny as fuck. I mean, you can still smoke them and stuff, but yeah. Got one on the wasp. All right. Well, the woolly buggers we got. Oh, I got a few. I got some damsel imitations too. Why are we using a damsel then? Because I'm just trying to work this, Daniel. I'm just guessing that's what he's eating. All right, there's a fish cruising out here. Come on, yeah, bugger. There's a big old cicada here. Why don't you eat him? He's looking. He had a look. These cheeky bastards. Hey. There we go. <laughs> and just like that, he just saw it and rocketed to it. All right. The deer hair cicada. Who would have thunk? I would have thunk, but I can't believe he wouldn't take that bloody humpy. I, he would have. That fish would have taken that humpy. Nice one. He's not fighting very hard, is he? Oh. <laughs> now he is. Well, the question is, what fly do you want to try next? The damsel imitation, I think, is going to be. Put him in. All right, there we go. Another skinny fish. But it's a fish, Daniel son. It is. And he took my deer hair cicada. Thank you very much. You would think they wouldn't be picky if they're this skinny. Yeah. I think they'd just be gobbling everything they saw. Hear one now either. Yeah. Oh, I can hear it. Bead had an olive woolly bugger. Hook, hook, hook! You got him. <laughs> I barely got the camera on. You got the fly on. Uh, so I suspected they were eating either those gambusia, the little mosquito fish, or eating damsel nymphs, the way they were going up and eating stuff. So we forced them to eat about dry flies. They didn't want to, but they still did after a while. By just putting on the bead head olive woolly bugger, just boom. First cast, first sighted, bang. That's like the quickest turn in history, Dan. <laughs> oh boy. All right, so we've proven that. I think now, I think now, ah. Oh. Anyways, there you go. Still not in great condition for eating. So does that mean you want to stick with this fly? Let's catch a few more flies and fish. Well, I was thinking putting on a wee wet now because we know the bugger's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll take it off. I'll put on a. Um, I'm going to put on a Wee Wet. I'm going to put on a um, Soft Tackle Wee Wet. What color is it? Eh, different colors. Got some Mallard Flank for the wing. And, and remember, it's my turn, so I can put on whatever I want. Yeah. So it's a little tiny Wee Wet. There is like... You can hand me that rod anytime you want. Are you done? Just about. So, just as long as it takes to 
All right, get us into some action. See, this, this is a tiny little fly. Basically imitates an emerger or something fleeing. So if you look at the little fly, see it, Dan? Oh, yeah. All right, go find us a fish, please. Oh, <laughs> fuck, he came up and smashed it. And I wasn't sure if he took it or not until, I was, until he took off. I came up and hammered it. Damn it. Come on, fish, where are you? Oh, he hammered it all right. I got no fly on. <laughs> so I hammered him. And my knot came undone. I did it so quickly and hastily. I'm gonna have to try that again, Daniel. 